Hey, what's happening gamers? It's time for another 3DS video review. It's been 19 years since Pit has protected the world from evil in Myths and Monsters for the Game Boy back in 1991. Now, after all this time, Kid Icarus lives again, thanks in part to the father of Kirby and his new company, Project Sora. Anyway, Kid Icarus Uprising for the 3DS is a third-person action game, and let me tell you, this is the 3DS title owners of the system have been craving for since it was announced. Each chapter features heart-pounding flight sections and intense ground missions too, not to mention insanely epic boss battles upon a chapter's end. Aside from its single-player mode and AR battle cards, Uprising has online multiplayer which I won't really be touching upon since I spent much of my time replaying the solo adventure and grinding hearts. From what I played online though, there was no noticeable lag and it was pretty fun. Alrighty then, so gameplay is divided into two sections, the power of flight and land battles. The air combat actually reminded me a lot of the latest Sin and Punishment, and I'm not complaining. Even though the power of flight is timed, pitch shooting levels were the best part of the game, well at least for me. Here the controls actually complement the game's unique play mechanics. The ground combat, however, not so much. While on land, Pit can attack from a distance or close up. Still positioning the game's camera with the touchscreen is anything but smooth, especially when attacking and moving Pit around at the same time. Frankly, it's just sloppy and a pain to turn Pit around during heated confrontations. Increase the game's difficulty and Pit won't be the only thing flying through the air, so will your 3DS. New to the series is the Intensity Cauldron, where players can bet on gathered hearts from slain foes. Also, if you successfully survive the increased difficulty, the game rewards you with new weapons and equipment. Besides Medusa, there are many other baddies that make a return and a new character enters the arena, Dark Pit, which is definitely inspired by The Legend of Zelda's Dark Link. What makes Kid Icarus so interesting is that it comes packaged with a stand for your 3DS. This is to help with the game's uh, unique gameplay. It also works with the Circle Pad Pro attachment, though it's only for left-handed players. Personally, the controls are a bit too complex, even with the use of the stand. Reminds me of Metroid Prime Hunters on the DS, actually. Still, I think Nintendo should have incorporated the attachments to actually move the camera. It would have made aiming a lot more fun and simple. Even though the game has so many ways to customize the controls, it just feels plain awkward and sometimes painful to play the game. One would think having to play this game with a stand would cause some red lights to go off. Eventually, after a rough learning curve, you will get the hang of the odd controls. After you've adjusted, the game becomes very addictive because of its short chapters, which makes Kid Icarus Uprising perfect to play on the go. Add on the achievements you can earn, cool weapons to unlock, and for you to create, plus an increased difficulty, well, one word comes to mind for all this, epic. In terms of the graphics, I was actually deeply impressed that each world was so full of life and well designed. Sound effects are okay, but the music was simply incredible and captivated my very soul. An excellent mixture of rock and orchestrated tunes. The voice acting was great, though the dialogue is a bit too long for my taste. But I really loved how the characters interact with one another and the humor is bursting at the seams for Pitt's entire adventure. In conclusion, if this game was on the Wii U, it would have been an amazing must-buy. But for the 3DS, it has a major issue that just can't be ignored. Unless, of course, you're playing using this stand and customizing the controls so that it plays a little bit better. Still, you have to remember the 3DS is a portable system, and this is a massive error that many publications are ignoring. So, in short, Kid Icarus Uprising for the 3DS is best left for the hardcore or elite gamers as casuals will be turned off by the game's controls. Though if you stick through it like I did, the rewards seem almost endless, and you're in for a high-quality feast fit for a king, or an angel in this case. So there you have it, folks. I actually recommend you buy this game if you like challenging games. Personally, I really hope this game gets a sequel so it can properly make use of a second analog stick to move the camera around, so it becomes less of a chore. Hopefully you'll be hearing about Nintendo's next model for the 3DS in a year or so. Well, thus ends another 3DS video review. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this review, please click the link below this for even more 3DS goodness. Until next time, gamers, God bless and happy gaming. Be seeing ya. Your days of darkness are numbered. Prepare to meet the light! So hurry to me, Pit. I'll strip you of your wings and sever you from the heavens forever!